welcome this is the uh oh <laughs> this is a wednesday where we connect now with the angels of awakening i'm just a little puffed out i can't believe it i've been up since six o'clock this morning i know that's late for some people but for me it's very early we get to meet a wonderful friend from the airport and uh, yeah it's really wonderful and so we are bringing in the light bringing in the love and bringing that energy through for you to connect with your angel your guide can you see merlin and the angels and the dragon and we have merlinus and Mer marina the beautiful wonderful aquamarine crystals to help now to connect and to bring in this light to bring in this love hello my name's Daisy Force, and that was my husband Paul playing the harmony hang drum then, the pan drum, the pan drum, gosh. And uh, we are still reeling a little from the last few days. Gosh, the energy that uh, was around for the eclipse and the new moon, everyone seems to forget that it was a new moon, a super moon in Aries uh, that we've just gone through. And goodness, was there a shift? Is there a shift? <laughs> so many people are just throwing things away, clearing out their rubbish, clearing out their their energies that are no longer serving them, um, clearing out the uh, the the relationships that have uh, completed and uh, really, really taking that step forward. So if you are on a new trajectory and doing something new, that's absolutely wonderful. I must say that uh, I've gone through uh, this house with a dose of salts, literally clearing, cleansing. I've used up nearly a whole bag of sage to really clear and to make the energies now a lot more uh, amiable, much more comfortable because we are really now speeding through the uh, changes that are taking place in the world for humanity. Um, so much is happening on every level. For those who have been through their m month of Ramadan and now celebration of Eid, how fabulous is that? To celebrate, to break the fast, to, to connect with the families and have that beautiful celebration of light of Eid. And of course, it's the Chiatra Nav Navatra, Navatra as well. Oh, I can't say that, sorry. Chiatra Nav Navatra. <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to tell me um, the right word. It's Navarachi, isn't it? Um, so uh, again, a celebration of the Divine Feminine. Nine whole days now from today for actually, actually it was yesterday, the nine whole days to uh, complete the connect and immerse with the goddesses connected to Durga and to uh, to bring in that Divine Feminine, that energy now um, for this beautiful celebration. Um, and so we are really, really uh, going through so many changes. So what do you do? How do you hold this space? Call in the angels. We recommended that you really hold the space for the solar eclipse on Monday. And that was about shining your light, really having that energy and shining it out. We've got the wonderful Ganesh beside me today. I know he's not been on camera for quite some time. Um, we've moved him and always give his tummy a rub um, for abundance, for love, for luck, and really bring in his energy and his uh, wonderful. The chant for for Ganesh is uh, is um, oh, what's your chant? Come on, tell me what your chant is. Gam, 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 gam and Ganesh. <laughs> See, you told me. <laughs> oh, lovely. So we're going to call in your angels all around you now. The angels of awakening, the angels of the Elohim, the Omnifim, the Seraphim, the Cherubim, the Malachim, all of the guides and guardians that are are holding this space of love as we call the ascended master saint germain in particular merlin kuan yin the goddess kuan yin lady nada and Kutumi and hilarion all the ascended masters 
that are here to really facilitate. I have to say that uh, tuning in to the eclipse and to the new moon um, on Monday was so many angels. I don't think I have ever, ever felt so much love, so much light on the world. So absolutely beautiful. Of course, they don't, having arrived, they don't just go away. It's like like spending uh, two days to get somewhere and then go, oh, I'm going home now. You know, you have time, you have holiday, you have rest, you have a space for you to really, really uh, um, explore. And so these angels, these light beings are really here to help us and facilitate going from the third dimension to the fifth. And we have the angels and Merlin and Merlin's dragon um, really here to help you. So let's connect, let's bring in that light. So just very gently. Now, if you close your eyes, you're meditating, you're coming out of the out of the world, out of what's going on in your world, whether it's too much work noise or whether it's too much children noise, all those on on their Easter holiday break, I know, just another few days to go. Oh. <laughs> so just close your eyes. These are your few minutes. And as you close your eyes and bring in this love, bring in this light, open your hands to receive, your heart, your mind, to open heart, open mind, open, open hands, to really receive this light, this love, as it flows now through you, from your soul star, from, from above, through from the great central sun, right the way down to your crown where it opens at your crown and brings the light all the way through from your crown to your heart star to your earth star connecting in with the earth beings the fairies the divas the nature spirits all those beautiful beings of light the crystals the minerals just feeling that connection to mother earth Gaia Gaia really now bringing in this energy of divine mother love holding you in the, the, her arms and as the angels of the earth the earth angels connect with the angels from your angelic realms pouring this light receiving this love as you breathe in breathing the light in as you breathe out breathing and just letting go and as we call upon Archangel Michael Michael this magnificent Archangel of the Elohim and his Achaia his Archangel Lady aspect who is faith bringing in this faith this trust protection Archangel Michael helping you to cut the cords to clear out your stuff to really release and to let go with ease and with grace with Merlin's grace just allowing the energy as you breathe it in and let it go dropping deeper and deeper into your heart space through the flower of your heart perking up your petals stepping into the flame of ascension stepping into this space and place of love and as you step into the very center of your being dropping deeper deeper just bringing the energy like a vortex of light bringing it to the zero to the center this vortex of love in the center of your being and as you drop into this space the pearl of your heart arises beautiful space in the center of your heart it's like 
your heart is singing, your heart is dancing. And as you receive this love, receiving the one breath of creation, the one breath of the one love, the one breath of the one heart, one breath, one love, one heart as one. All your bodies now aligning as you hear the sounds of the harmony, the sounds of the heart. as these angels pour in their light this beautiful energy i found this crystal this beautiful crystal i have absolutely no idea what it's called what it is it's just divine and i'll take a picture and put it into the comments because it looks like a looks like a lion it looks like an energy of absolute uh, beauty it looks like wood but it's a crystal and it's very, very, very light. Um, and it wanted to come today to bring in these new energies, to bring in this new light, to bring in this new love for you, for all humanity, for all the celebrations that are going on in the world. We can all join in. Everybody can feel the love, the unity, the celebration, the joy, the happiness. <laughs> oh, it's just given me a little baby. How cool is that? One of the little notes has moved off. Oh, wow. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I've never seen that happen. Cool. <laughs> it's like a wobbly tooth. <laughs> I'll take a picture, you can have a look. <laughs> so very gently, coming back into your body, coming back into this moment, having connected with your angels, the angels of the Elohim, the angels of awakening, the angels of Atlantis, the angels of awakening, the angels of Aquarius, the angels of the Angles, the angels of Avalon, the angels of, of alchemy, these beautiful angels, all radiant and strong. And as you come back into your body, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, coming back fully in this moment. <sighs> refreshed, realigned and re-energized. Open hand, open heart, open mind. Wow, thank you so much Paul. Was it how we do this? This is a thank you for the angels. <laughs> Oh, I do hope you've enjoyed this and if you'd like to see anything else that I do it's on my website daisyfoss.com um, and uh, I'll be here again next Wednesday to connect in but remember any time that you see 11 11 or 2 2 or 3 3 is a time to connect to time to just take a few minutes to breathe in the angel light so from my heart to yours with a big angelic hug Lots of love. Namaste. Have a fabulous time. And thank you, Ganesh.